Does it feel further away now than it did when you were in Downing Street? Um, well, I think you'd have to say yes to that um, at the moment, but it could easily be revived. I mean, I always say the difference between the Northern Ireland peace process and the Israeli-Palestinian one is that in Northern Ireland we were able to achieve peace but without an agreement as to what the final outcome. You know, there's still a, di a difference of opinion. You know, the unionists want mm. Northern Ireland in the UK, the nationalists want it united with the south of Ireland. Whereas in the case of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, the irony is there is an agreement amongst most reasonable people that you need to have a two-state solution. But it's the circumstances that make that extremely difficult to negotiate. And I, I have come to the conclusion over a number of years, and I, you know, when I go back to the Middle East soon, it'll be, I think, my, I think, 270th visit since leaving office. So I've, you know, okay. I've been there a lot, <laughs> and I'm deep in the politics um, of, of the region. And, and I think you're only going to get peace now if there is you can create the circumstances of genuine cultural acceptance that is not just about where do the borders go and, you know, some of the detailed elements of negotiation. It's uh, you're going to have to win the hearts as well as the minds if you've got any chance for peace.